Okay, I'm going to make coconut cookies now using the same idea as we did before. I'm going to use a, um, a third of a cup of shortening, a half a cup of sugar, and three quarters of a cup of flour, just like before. But this time I'm going to start off with a half a cup of coconut. And I'm going to brown my coconut first, my plain old coconut, the coconut, half a cup of coconut, putting it in a pan, uh, in a plate, on a plate, my Corelli plates. I'm going to spread it around. I'll put it in the microwave for, for um, 30 seconds, and then I'll stir it, get the brown around. Then I'll put them for another 30 seconds, stir it, and then another 30 seconds, and it should be done in a minute and a half, nicely browned. So let's go put this in the uh, microwave on high for 30 seconds. And this is how the coconut looks coming out of the microwave after a minute and a half. Stirring it after every 30 seconds. Okay, for the coconut cookies, we're going to go with butter flavor Crisco, and this is a third of a cup. And this is kind of unorthodox to do it in the pan and the thing like this, but hey, it's a lot easier. It's left over from the peanut butter stuff. It's okay. Well, the yeah, the peanut butter stuff. Okay. Then we have uh, a half a cup of sugar. A cup of sugar. And this time we're going to add uh, the uh, baking soda. Puppy make it rise. Half a teaspoon of baking soda. A teaspoon of baking soda. So I'm going to add a little cream of tartar. About a quarter of a teaspoon of cream of tartar. And since there's no salt in the coconut, but there was in the peanuts, put add a little bit of salt, just a little bit. Quarter of a teaspoon of salt. Okay. Uh, now we're going to mash this up and we're going to add in here coconut extract. Coconut extract. Half a teaspoon of coconut extract. Okay. Okay, there's that. And we're going to add our crunched up coconut. But before we add the crunched up coconut, we're going to crunch it in our fingers. So it gets even crunchier. Okay. Now we add that. An eighth of a cup of water first. We might not need so much here. Okay, so an eighth of a cup. You've got to make it the consistency of pie dough. And there, now we add our three quarters cup of flour. Mmm, they smell good. I think that's all we need is a quarter of a cup of water. Okay, this is where we get our hands into it. Okay. And we mush it. Okay, so now there's our coconut dough right there. Oh, it smells delightful. Okay. So now I'll do the same thing as I did here with the um, with the uh, peanut butter cookies. Okay, I'm going to do this the uh, coconut cookies, and I've got them in little balls. I made them in little balls. So I'll put them over here and scrunch them down, just like I did the peanut butter ones. Except I'm not putting sugar on the top of these. And I will cook these at. Uh, 325 also for uh, 15 minutes. <clears throat> the cookies just came out of the oven. These are the coconut cookies, and they look pretty good. 
I think I left them in for 17 minutes because I was on the phone talking. Yada, yada, yada. Uh-huh. So these are really going to be crunchy, but they look delicious. Look delicious. So these are the coconut cookies. I ran them all on one cookie sheet so I wouldn't have to make another batch. So there they are. These are the coconut cookies. And they are so crunchy. They are just crunchy and flaky. And just delicious. Mm-hmm. Mm. Crunchy. Mm-hmm. Melt in your mouth. Hear the crunch? Mmm.